Okay, welcome everybody. I am Amira, your Minister of Justice and Witness for Clackamas United Church of Christ. And today I am so excited. I have an amazing guest uh, with us today. Hello, Jeff. Hi, how are you, Amira? Really good. I'm so excited to be meeting with you. Um, just to give a little bit of a backstory um, on what we're doing, and we talked about you a little bit today during church service uh, this morning about this happening coming up. Um, so I was on Facebook about four days ago or so, um, and we know a mutual tattoo artist mm -hmm. named Luke, and I was scrolling the Facebook stories, and I saw a, um, a picture of a neck tattoo um, that was the Confederate flag and my heart dropped. And then I waited one more second as the other picture came and it was a picture of a cover up of, <laughs> of the Confederate flag. I think to me that 51 people, instead of looking and waiting, taking a breath to just stop and wait, um, that they just automatically stop looking at it. So I have a couple questions for you um, about this tattoo. I'm excited. Um, yeah. So the first one is, how old were you when you originally got this tattoo? So I, after speaking with my stepmom and some people in my family, the accuracy of that, I was somewhere between 13 and 16. Okay. Somewhere in that vicinity. Um, I was, went through a lot as a child, as a kid. Um, and it kind of ties into the backstory of the tattoo itself. Um, so I was between 13 and 16. I don't have a whole lot of memory and recollection of, I would say from about 13 to 20. Um, I was pretty heavily medicated on antidepressants, antipsychotics, um, stuff like that. And turns out it didn't really need to be. <laughs> um, yeah. But the basis of the tattoo itself was, um, I was just so... I was a black sheep of my family. My dad, but my my father was a police officer for 41 years. Mm -hmm. I've been I've been to prison, juvenile rehabilitation administration, group home, foster homes. So it was anger driven. Okay. It was very, I was so angry at the whole world that I was a rebel. It was mm -hmm. me against the world, baby. It was just, I mean, I and I think that was kind of just the best way for me to say, hmm, if you yeah. will. Mm -hmm. um, and having no idea whatsoever what that meant mm -hmm. to so many different people. Mm -hmm. Because to me, what it meant was, I'm angry, I'm mad, I'm the rebel, I'm the black sheep, I'm the, mm -hmm. I'm just, stomping to my own beat, you know, not listening to anybody else, doing my own thing. And that's not <laughs> what it means. <laughs> and I, uh, it's, I, I think, I think I froze again on you. Um, so it was, it was, that was the best way for me, I think, to express just where I was at that point in time in life, just being the rebel that I was. Yeah. And yeah, through so it really had nothing to do with race. Right? None, none whatsoever, not none whatsoever at all. And the, there's been many conference and people don't want to talk about it at all. And I, I've been in so many different styles of confrontations. Um, whether it be physical fights, arguments, um, most of them had been physical wow. because nobody wants to talk. Wow. So and, just they see your tattoo and they want to fight? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. And it, I've, I've wore a scarf now for probably six, eight months. Wow. Um, and it's, I even tried makeup before that. Yeah, my, 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 my wife just reminded me, I even tried makeup before that. Um, I went to several different consults to get it removed, but the expense was just so crazy. It was anywhere between 400 and $600 a session. 
Wow. And it they like a lot of sessions. They said red and blue were the hardest to pull. Right. And that could take anywhere from 14 to 16 sessions. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So let me let me ask you the people that just confronted you yeah. physical violence wise were they what kind what type of people were they were were they um so they were all I mean I want to say obviously but they were people who were offended by it okay well, were they were they black people were they brown people were they yeah. white yeah. people it was just black. random okay. predominantly black people wow from tri cities. Um, Tri cities. So okay. I, I, I've been, I, I've traveled a lot. Um, okay. I, I've had some confrontation in Tri Cities, mm -hmm. very little in Tri Cities. No okay. physical, no physical okay. in Tri Cities. Mm -hmm. Mostly in Portland, Seattle, um, Yakima. Okay. Um, wow. say, um, the coast even sometimes. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, the Oregon coast. Mm -hmm. Um. So it's, and wow. I'm going to say I, when was the last time I got in a fight, baby, over this? You, you can bring your wife and have her sit next to you if you want. <laughs> she, <laughs> she said, no, 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 no. She said probably, probably about five years since, since there's been a physical altercation with it. Um, but it, it's... I'm just so happy it's gone. <laughs> so happy it's gone. So basically my second question you pretty much answered because okay. I was going to ask you, were you ever judged? <laughs> and clearly um, you were judged a lot based off of, off of what we just talked about. And um, I, yeah. to no fault of theirs because I rightfully understand now what that means. And it's, I, I never would have thought my tattoos would reflect you. Right. And boy, was I horribly wrong. Yeah. Boy, I was I horribly wrong. A lot of people that represent that flag and even the American flag and the truck, I live in Salem, Oregon, and mm -hmm. it's very, very racist there, which I didn't know um, really until everything recently that started happening. But I don't think people really understand what the, those flags do to someone like me. Not all black people are traumatized by it, but for me, I am, especially I'm a, also a queer yeah. black woman. So if you go to like pride parades and stuff, you see a lot of people shoving that in your face. And so I don't think there was probably a lot of people that love the American flag that are but not racist at all. People do just, like pe people yeah. do that. Yes. They go to like, they go out and I don't, I don't, I don't see. And I think that's where, <clears throat> Maybe I was blind. Mm -hmm. Maybe I was so blind to where I be I kind of thought we had, we, there's been so much time to get, I can't believe anybody. How are we even having a conversation that somebody dislikes somebody mm -hmm. for their skin color? That's in crazy. 2020, it's in crazy, but it's so, yeah. This is insane. <laughs> oh, it's so crazy. And oh. the thing is with the story that I find so amazing is that me looking at you, if I would have seen this tattoo on your neck, I would have, I would not have been disrespectful to you, but I would have went the other way. And, and I would have assumed that you hate me. Mm -hmm. And you're so loving. And just from the moment we spoke, I'm like, is this guy real? I looked at your Facebook and kind of stalked you a little bit. And I was like, man, this guy, you're, you, you, you exude love. And that's sad that on both ends, you know, that people are, we judge other people too. because. I could have judged you and you have right. the most pure heart ever, like sweet. And Thank so you. I think it goes both ways. And the moral of the story for me as a mindfulness coach and educator is that just take a breath and maybe not, not judge right away. Cause even the scrolling of the Facebook for me, if 51 people would have just waited and saw the outcome, they would have felt the joy that I felt when I was like, yes, you got it covered. Who is this guy? Let me talk to him. Um, the last question I had is like, what, what, what did you feel when you saw the tattoo, the finish, the cover up? Um, at first I was, I, I, I was, Man, it was, it was, it was confusion, almost really confusion because it was gone. 
and is it real? Mm -hmm. Is it is it, is it? And I I I looked at Luke, and I cried, but then I was like, I can't cry in front of this man, <laughs> you know. And then and I did, of course, you know. And I kind of just like he was like, don't touch it; it's not done, you know. You, you will rub it off. <laughs> like I I I is is it is 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 it real? Yeah. And and then I I just cried. I cried. I'm. It's it's it's. It's gone. I'll, I'll never have to look at it again. I will never have to. I'll have to wear a bandana. I'll have to wear a scarf. I, yeah. It's gone. Yeah. And okay, I need I I need to show the audience this tattoo though. This cover up. Yeah. Yeah. Please do. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Let's. Uh, yeah. And I'll also. Can we for a second. Yeah, and we'll do also a screenshot of before and after if you're comfortable. And if you're not, I can you send you the. Uh, I can sh I send you the before as well. I, cool. I, yeah. Absolutely. We'll, we'll link it to this. But yeah, I wanna. Thank you. Yes. Is that a good Beautiful. Right there? Okay. <laughs> Jeff, I appreciate this so much. I look forward to hopefully after this COVID stuff's over, when I come visit family, I can actually meet you in person. Please do. I would love yes. it. That'd I be would amazing. love to. Yes, and we'll definitely be in touch. Um, thank you, wifey, <laughs> for being there. You said you're welcome. Yes, thank you so much. I appreciate you. Absolutely. And um, yeah, hit me up anytime. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Mwah. Have a Bye. good one. Bye. That was awesome. That was 